Banksy's top 10 works of art. 10. If you don't succeed, call in an airstrike. Who is Banksy? The street artist has kept his identity closely hidden. The Bristol-based artist is infamous for his provocative images. He's done these all over the globe in some of the most politically charged areas of the world. He's even gone as far to create a whole theme park called Dismaland. Here we go with round two, best of Banksy. Number nine, let them eat crack. Banksy's enormous street rat, let them eat crack was created in 2008 in New York, Soho neighborhood. The giant piece covering a whole side of the New York building was created with a permit from the cities of New York. Bristol artist took on Marie Antoinette's quote, let them eat cake, which was referencing French peasants with Banksy's particular spin instead being, let them eat crack, voicing Wall Street's views toward the middle class and lower class. With the money falling out of the rat's briefcase, it can be seen that the rat is painted to resemble a Wall Street figure that lives in New York City. By using the word crack in the place of cake, Banksy is suggesting that the wealthy 1% of New York are kind of out of touch and maybe insensitive to the problems of the poorer communities. Number eight, Flower Thrower. This iconic work from the street artist continues to stand out among all of Banksy's work. The subject, who appears to be involved in a riot, wears a handkerchief and backwards cap, and he is depicted with an arm full of flowers. This way better than a Molotov cocktail. The complete work was created in black and white, except for the flowers. The flowers were in color. The work has been reproduced in the form of prints, phone cases, TV shirts, I got a tattoo of it on my cap. This piece is arguably one of Banksy's most recognizable works. Number seven, The Simpson Intro. This is amazing, this just came out. The animated show went to a whole new level by airing kind of a dark extended opening title sequence. It depicted Asian workers laboring over Simpson animation and merchandise, e yeesh. The effect was rather stark and piercing. First few 35 seconds of the sequence feature near usual credits, except for a few Banksy tags on prominent Springfield buildings, but rather unexpectedly, BAM! It takes a turn of depressing kind of ways overseas to the sweatshop. Facilities where legions of workers are slaving over Simpson dolls and all sorts of crazy things. Uh, they do some pretty interesting stuff in that intro. They even use a chained unicorn at one point. Oh god, chained unicorns, that's terrible. Number six, One Nation Under CCTV. One Nation Under CCTV is a piece that stands out even though it has since been removed. Banksy took to a large London wall back in April of 2008 to create this politically charged piece. A commentary, some would say, on UK surveillance. Captured society. The towering word read, One Nation Under CCTV, and featured a depiction of both a child-sized artist and a watchful security guard. Which is funny because the total irony is that the CCTV cameras that were there failed to capture Banksy's identity. Number five, follow your dreams. Cancelled. In May of 2010, this Banksy appeared in the low-income area of Chinatown in Boston, Massachusetts. The image featured a tired-looking male painter standing next to the seemingly painted-on word, Follow Your Dreams, stamped with an official state cancellation. Over time, the work has become one of Banksy's more popular pieces, even being produced in canvas prints and posters. It is indeed a very powerful piece, much like this next one. Number four, the Banksy Girl with Balloon. This is also a very recognizable work from the artist. The original piece depicts a young girl losing her heart-shaped balloon to a gust of fluttering wind. There's also a small quote etched into the side of the staircase that reads, there is always hope. Number three, as Banksy's website says, a festival of art, amusements, and entry-level anarchism. Dismaland is the artist's craziest and coolest new creation. This is clearly a crazy satire hitting Disneyland right in the stomach. This is like the ride It's a Small World After All in the Dungeon of Hell. Number two, in the summer of 2005, Banksy came all the way to Israel's West Bank 
and found the barrier. And he left behind nine interesting pieces on the wall, one that separates the country from the landlocked Palestinian territories. Banksy parodied the crazy volatile situation. Although he was in an area that is constantly patrolled, the artist's works were very large in scale. Probably one of the sketchier things he's ever done. Number one, the shredder. Man, the gavel had just come down on the sale of Banksy's Girl with Balloon for a record $1.4 million. The picture started to slip out of its frame all of a sudden, and slowly it came, it came peeling down, and fizz, and then it got, well, it got stuck a little. But I mean, you kind of get the point. And honestly, it's probably worth even more money now that it's half shredded. Uh, but what a stunt to pull! He claims that he was behind the stunt and that he built the shredder into the painting's frame, and he put a remote control in there so he could fire it off as soon as that piece was sold. Take that, capitalism! Check out some of our other top list videos.